Dozens of students took their anger over tuition hikes outdoors, holding signs reading stop exploiting students and education is a right, not a privilege. The protest comes after the university announced plans to raise tuition by 30 percent for incoming international students and 10 percent for current ones. There, there's never been an increase this high at the university uh, and and there has also never been a vote on tuition this early in the school year. This is happening four months earlier than it happened last year. Paige Aris is a current international student from the U.S. She currently pays $9,000 a semester. She says with rising rent fees and inflation, she doesn't know how to keep up. It just feels like everything bubbling more to the top, almost as if uh, we're all in a pressure cooker and it's just like slowly building and building before all the steam releases. In a statement, the university argues the increase is required to continue providing quality education and the hike is needed to balance the budget as required by law. We came here with the hopes of building, of creating on this land. Students from all over the world say an increase like this doesn't just have financial consequences. I, I remember how my teacher back in China told me about how Emily Carr is like the greatest university to attend an art class. But it wasn't good for me because my mental health is not going doing so good right now. It really hurts you because you think you're not really like, you, you don't see the value of you being here at a point anymore. You, you just feel used essentially. Emily Carr administration was aware of the planned walkout. It says it respects the rights of students to voice their concerns by taking action and the challenges higher tuition payments will create for some. But there are no plans to halt the hikes. Yasmin Gandam, CBC News, Vancouver.